This is a continuation of the previous tutorial on detection head in this series on object detection. This tutorial will make sense if you have watched the previous one. But as a quick recap, we have three detection heads, one for each feature map from the backbone. And the responsibility of the head is to make the predictions for pre-decided number of boxes per cell in the feature map. Here I am showing the high level feature map only and we have pre-decided that we will assume three boxes per cell and there are three classes in our data set. And therefore the output of the head will be a feature map of 13 by 13 but with 24 channels. Again, please check the previous tutorial how and why we end up having 24 channels in this case. And finally this is how we wrote the PyTorch module for the detection head. You can see the calculation of number of predicted channels here as well. And I showed that in order to extract the information regarding the coordinates of the box, the objectness of the box and the class scores for the possible classes in that box, you would do indexing like this. So it works. And this is how predictions per box are generally represented in various papers and their implementations. But as you can see, here we have two shortcomings by organizing our predictions like that. First, we have to make use of this ugly and error prone indexing to extract the relevant information so that we can compute the corresponding loss for it. And second, if tomorrow you want to predict extra information per box, you would have to come back to the code to make room for it and adjust indexing to entertain it. As an example, maybe you want to add one real number per box to, to represent its angle in the feature map. Maybe you want to predict something else in the box other than classes. And that is why not only this way of organizing the predictions is error prone in the first place, but it is also not scalable when you want to predict more information per box in near future. In order to do a better job at defining our detection head, let's take a different approach. This is one of our detection head and you know that in our current implementation, it has just one convolution layer. What would be more scalable would be to see this head as a wrapper module on other prediction specific heads. For example, you would want to have a dedicated head for the coordinates. I'm calling it a box head, a head for objectness and a separate head for classification related predictions. Let's write some PyTorch module for the box head first. Note that here the number of predicted channels will be different from our previous approach as we are simply predicting the four coordinates per box per cell. So it is very specific to what it intends to predict. Here I am also going to add the rearrange module from the INOPS as we would like to be shaped the certain way so that it is helpful to pass it to your loss function. Check out my dedicated tutorial on INOPS if you are not familiar with it. And finally, we can pass the high level feature maps to it. Of course, you would have a different box head object for a different feature map. Here I'm just showing for the high level box and the number of channels will be different. So that's why the box head class takes in channels as an input. Similarly, you would define the objectness head. This would be simpler as you would be just predicting one real number per box per cell. We also rearrange its output thanks to the rearrange layer. The code is pretty much following the same convention uh, as that of a box head at this point. And finally, for classification, it would take the number of classes as the input as well and, and thereby generate the corresponding number of channels. Now, one of the secrets of writing good and maintainable code is to follow what is called a single responsibility principle, which suggests that you do not want to overload a component or a module with more than one task. What we have done here by splitting our head 
into three components, box, objectness, and classification, we have followed that principle, the SRP principle as it is called in computer science. Here are our three modules. Now, of course, we can use or embed them in the detection head. Just another module which is encapsulating it. So your interface could still be detection head, by the way, because internally it has encapsulated the box, objectness and classification heads. If tomorrow you want to add some more predictions, you simply create the corresponding head for it and embed it in this detection wrapper head or make a subclass of the detection head and then include it. There are a few different ways to approach that. This is all I wanted to share in this tutorial, that is how to write better and maintainable components and avoid as much possible the indexing into the tensors as we did in previous tutorial. Because indexing in the tensors will almost always lead to the readability and maintainability challenges. The code snippets that I have shown to you now, they are available in the Google Colab notebook and you will find the description to that in the notebook. With that, I wish you good luck with your learning. Goodbye and see you in another tutorial. Bye-bye.